Hello everyone, this is Mr. Nasser, welcome to my channel and in this video we will study 3A my day. In this lesson we will study uh, vocabulary about daily routines, grammar, present symbol 1, positive and WH questions I, you, we and they. Okay, so daily routine. What's, uh, what's daily routine? Daily routines things that you do every day okay and um, usually it's like here when we you get up you go to bed leave home get home have breakfast have lunch have dinner start work or classes finish work or classes work study okay but here sleep live of course it's not daily routine live because um, this is something you do always and uh, let's go to page 132 okay so let's do this exercise in this exercise here daily routine uh, match the words phrases to pictures A to O and these are the pictures here okay so okay guys so um, if you don't have the book you can do the exercise here okay you can stop the video now do the exercise then check okay this is the answer and you can check okay after you finish let's go to the book again so back to exercise number one here okay so Let's repeat these words together. Get up. Get up. Go to bed. Go to bed. Leave home. Leave home. Get home. Get home. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Have lunch. Have lunch have dinner have dinner start work start classes finish work finish classes work study study sleep sleep live live okay and um, here in these phrases we have this dot it's the stress when you say the, the phrase here you don't say get up no get up get up go to bed go to bed leave home leave home okay so the stress is here on, uh, on home bed up breakfast home this is the stress okay so let's move here to the next exercise match two of the words phrases from 1a to these times of day for example what do you do in the morning in the morning you get up and you do what you have breakfast okay in the afternoon what do you do you have lunch, um, get home, in the evening the same, at night the same. Okay, let's check the answers together here. Let's see. For example here, in the morning you have breakfast, you leave home, you start work or classes you work you study in the afternoon you have lunch work study finish work or classes get home in the evening get home have dinner work study go to bed or sleep uh, no here this is number four sorry number four you go to bed and sleep okay so 
um, there's something people maybe don't understand. It's about the time. In uh, time for the afternoon and the evening. Okay, let's uh, explain it together here. So, morning, okay, so morning, okay starts sunrise from uh, sunrise to 12 o'clock so this is all usually from sunrise or before sunrise maybe even like one hour here let's write it say one hour before sunrise the morning starts usually um, from uh, Fajr then so say morning one hour before sunrise until 12 o'clock in the afternoon 12 we say here 12 p.m. or e.m. 12 e.m. Okay, after that, the afternoon, afternoon starts from 12, okay, 12 a.m. to sunset sunset uh, usually in uh, Mughrab Adhan okay and the evening starts from the sunset until 12 clock p.m. After that will be night. Well, one hour before the sunrise. Okay, guys, so why we say um, sunrise and sunset? Because the time in um, winter and in summer different. For example, maybe um, sunrise in in uh, in the summer, maybe at six or five thirty in the morning. In winter, no. In winter, maybe at eight. So here, the morning starts one hour before sunrise until twelve p.m. From twelve a.m. until the sunset until Maghrib. This is all afternoon because I I see some people, for example. Before Maghrib, like one hour, two hours, they say good evening. No, evening is after sunset, after the sun uh, goes down. Okay, so these are the times.
Ok. Ok guys, so let's look at this uh, photo here for this woman and the other photo for her is here. What do you think is her job? Yes, she is an actress. Well done. She is an actress. Okay, here in exercise, in this exercise, exercise number two, before you read, check these words or phrases with your teacher or you can check on the dictionary. Glamorous. This word glamorous means life with uh, lots of uh, photos and people like when, when they see you, they try to take photo and uh, they follow you on Instagram, Facebook, like actress, uh, actresses and singers. A TV show, a TV show, what you watch on TV, for example, it's like a film, but every day you watch one hour one episode and um, it has about 30 episodes so every day you watch okay this is we call it a tv show and a studio the place that you uh, people make film inside hair okay makeup of course you know makeup and learn your lines your lines is like the scenario um before you um, uh, watch uh, before you make the film or for example every day you make like 10 minutes 20 minutes in front of the camera you have some words you say in front of the camera when you uh, make the film so these are your lines you learn your lines so you memorize your scenario what you will say in front of the camera okay so let's see here uh, work in pairs guess the times and tv that tv actors do these things for example what time do they get up have breakfast start work and have lunch guess that means what do you think okay so for example people say like get up of course because they are rich and they work anytime they want they get up at 3 12 of course breakfast in the afternoon okay so these different times but now what we will do we will read the article and check your answer what time do they get up have breakfast start work and have lunch so we will read this article here okay so you read and answer the question write the time okay stop the video take three minutes to read it and do the exercise okay now we'll go and check okay so here let's see the answer okay so number one get up half past four in the morning have breakfast about uh, 6 15 start work about seven o'clock and have lunch at one o'clock okay in exercise number three we'll read the article again are these sentences true write t or false write f correct the false sentences for example carrie is from Lo uh, los angeles so what do you think no of course she is from canada how do we know let's go here okay and we say where are you from carrie i'm from canada so that's wrong it's not she's not from los angeles she's from canada okay so here's the sentences okay you can write the sentences then i put the article here okay read again and do the exercise then we will check together okay so let's see the answers 
Number number two, do the actors get up very late? False, they get up very early. Number three, they have breakfast at the studio. True, they have breakfast in the makeup room, but makeup room is in the studio. Four, they work for six hours before lunch. True, five, they have half an hour for lunch. False, they have an hour for lunch. Okay, so the next exercise here is about grammar. Okay, so grammar, help with grammar, present simple one, positive, I, you, we, and they. We use the present simple to talk about daily routines. When you want to talk anything you do every day, you uh, use present simple. Okay. And uh, how do we write a sentence in a present symbol? Let's look here closely. Okay. So if you want to write a sentence in a present symbol, we always start with a subject. Here's the subject. Okay. And our grammar today is only about I, you, we, and they. We have other subject pronouns like he, she, it, but there, uh, there is different grammar for them. So we always start with what? We start with uh, the subject, okay? After that, we write the verb. Where's the verb here? Here's get up. And again, get up. Here, start. And here, have, okay? So when I write a sentence in a present symbol with I, you, we, they, the only thing we do, we write the subject after that verb. We don't add anything. We don't change anything. I get up at 4.30 in the morning. You get up very early. We start work at about 7 o'clock. They have an hour for lunch. Okay. So this is how we write the sentence. It's very easy to do. Okay, and here, listen and practice the sentences in 4A, copy the stress. Okay, let's play it. Listen and try to practice. Let's put them all here. Track 51. Mm -hmm. Track 51. I get up at 4.30 in the morning. You get up very early. We start work at about 7. They have an hour for lunch. Okay, so let me help you with something here. When people try to um, say these sentences, just a minute here. Okay, so here we say at about, at about as one word, at about, work at about, work at about, work cat, work cat, work at about. Okay, so all of it like one word, work at, work at about. We start work at about seven o'clock. We start work at about seven, okay? And here they say for lunch. They don't say for lunch, f, f, for lunch, for lunch, for lunch, okay? And here, an hour, an hour. They don't say an hour, no, they say an hour, an hour, an hour, for lunch, an hour for lunch, an hour for lunch, an hour for lunch. So they, they say here, they have an hour for lunch. They have an hour for lunch. They have an hour for lunch. Okay, so this is if you practice in the future, you listen, okay, in a better way. And when you speak, you speak in a better way. So you say they have an hour for lunch, okay?
Okay, so in this exercise here, exercise number seven, okay, read about Carrie's afternoon and evening routine. Fill in the gaps with these verbs. Okay, guys, so read, and here we have number one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and we have here six verbs. So read and fill in the gaps. Okay, let's check the answer. Okay, so here we say, when do you finish work? Most days we finish at about nine o'clock. So here the answer is start. So you start work at seven o'clock and you finish work at nine o'clock. Yes, it's a very long day, but sometimes I sleep for an hour in the afternoon. What time do you get home? I get home at about 9.30. Where do you have dinner? Usually at home while I learn my lines for the next day. Then I mm -hmm, go to bed at 11 o'clock. So do you have a glamorous life? Not when I'm at work. No, definitely not. Okay. So here in this exercise, okay, what we should do here, we will write six sentences about our daily routine. So write six sentences about daily routine. Use words, phrases from one uh, A. I start work at half past eight, for example. So let's go to um, exercise number one here. Okay. So how do we write? Let's just uh, delete this here so we can write. Mm. Okay, so we said when I, I want to write sentence, I will start with subject. Okay, subject, pronoun. After that, I will write what? Okay, so word or phrase. A word or phrase. After that, time. Okay, so let's see here how can we write. Okay. So here, before we start, here the word or the phrase should be uh, from here, here, word or phrase, all of that here, okay? So you don't change anything. You just take the word or phrase from here and put it here, okay? So let's see how we write. Okay, for example, of course, all the sentences will start with I. After that, you have get up. After that, you say the time. For example, let's see at seven o'clock. Okay, so here, as you can see, this is the phrase. We don't change it. You just take it from here and put it here. Okay. I get up at seven o'clock. So when you write, of course, here they are not in order. So, but you put them in order. For example, what's the next thing you do? I get up at seven o'clock. Of course, I don't, after get up, I don't go to bed. No, what I do, for example, yes, I have breakfast. So let's say here, I have breakfast time, for example, at eight o'clock.
Okay, guys, so write all the sentences, okay, in this way. Start I, put the word or phrase here. Here, word, word means like work, study, um, sleep, okay. Live, there's no time for live, so you don't write it, okay. Okay, now in, in this exercise here, exercise number nine, help with grammar, present symbol one, W, H, questions, I, U, we, and they. Okay, before we um, do this exercise, let's just um, go to the board here. Okay, so when I say, for example, mm, let's put it smaller, okay. I say I get up okay I want to ask about time so I say what time you get up what time you get up okay I have breakfast I ask a question when it's the same one time when you have breakfast okay so this is the question say what time you get up when you have breakfast okay and you ask this question people understand you but it's not a correct question. Why? We need to add something here, call it do. Okay, when after the question word, say do. What time do you get up? When do you have breakfast? Okay, so what's the meaning for do? No meaning. If you say what time you get up, the same meaning what time do you get up? Okay, but this is very important. You write the question word after that do, after that subject, then the verb. Okay, so let's go back to the book. Look here, they say look at the table, notice the word order in questions. Question word what time or when after that the auxiliary and the same thing as we said here if you for example delete here if you delete uh, do what time you get up when you have lunch the question everyone can understand but grammatically no it's not correct you uh, we should write do okay so what time do you get up question word auxiliary subject infinitive infinitive means the original origin verb clean verb you don't add anything to the verb get up get up have have okay and in the future you will understand more what uh, do we mean by infinitive so here we have uh, these three questions okay yeah, we need to write them in the table okay so stop the video write these questions here for example this is here number one let's see here number one then two then three okay write them here in the same order after that we will check Okay, after we finish, let's go to page 134, grammar 3.2. Grammar 3.2 here. Okay, and this is the order. We say, what time do you get up? When do you 
have? Where, when do you finish? What time do you get? Where do you have? The same order. Four steps, very important. Question word, auxiliary subject infinitive. Question word, auxiliary subject infinitive. And here we say present simple questions are the same for I, you, we, and they. Okay, I, you, we, and they, the same grammar. When do I ask? When do we start? What time do they have lunch? This is all grammar. I, we, you, they, the same grammar, always. Okay, now in this exercise here, we will write the questions, okay, in the same order. The same order. Question word, auxiliary, subject, infinitive. Question word, auxiliary, subject, infinitive. Okay, so first of all, we know the question words. Let's put all the question words. This is the question word, right? Okay, and this is the question word. And here, this is the question word. The question word here. Okay, now, where is the auxiliary? We know all of the auxiliaries do. Okay, the subject, all the subject is you. After that, the verb. Where is the verb? Mm -hmm. Live. Okay, here, work, get up, start, get, and have. Okay, so now stop the video and try to write the questions in the same order. Question word, auxiliary subject, infinitive. After you finish, let's check the answers. Track 52. 1. Where do you live? 2. Where do you work? 3. What time do you get up? 4. When do you start work or classes? 5. What time do you get home? 6. When do you have dinner? 6. Okay, so <clears throat> here in this exercise um, how do we say the question in the correct way? Okay, so here, for example, say where, where, here, dear. This is not j. This is sound, uh, uh, yeah, sound. So people they say dear, dear, dear. They don't say do you. No. Where do you live? Where do you live? What time? Do you get up? For example, here, the the answer here, you say, you say, where do you work? Where do you, do you work? What time do you get up? Do you get up? Okay, some people say dear, some people say do you. Where do you? J, J. Do you live? Where do you work? Where, what time do you get up? Uh, which one you like, you can say. You want to say dia, you want to say geo, both correct. But do you, no problem, people understand you when you say do you, but it's not professional. It's like uh, baby talk, okay? So it's better to say do you, dia. Practice one of them. So when you practice this again here, you say first of all you say here you say where do you live where do you work what time do you get up 
so how I practice this how do I practice this okay we come here to this uh, to exercise number one okay and you say do you for example if you want to practice do you or do you say dear dear do you get up do you get up do you go do you go do you go to bed do you leave do you leave do you leave home do you get do you get do you get home the same thing do you live do you sleep practice or you say do you get up do you get up do you go do you go do you leave do you have lunch do you have dinner any verb put after do you and together practice okay um three days four days after that it will be automatically when you have do you and the verb you will say do you or do you okay and the last exercise here if you are in the class or you are studying online with someone work in pairs ask and answer these questions you ask your partner these questions okay where do you live for example if you're here we have the questions okay as you say where do you live you say i live in for example in istanbul in beylik uh where do you work i work in shishli i work in this place okay when you answer answer full sentence so you practice how you speak english when people say where do you live you say in Beylik Duzu. No, say I live in Beylik Duzu. I work in. What time do you get up? I get up at seven o'clock. When do you start work or classes? I start work at. I start classes at. Okay. And here write eight questions about people's routines in the in the week or at the weekend use words and phrases from uh, exercise number one okay so here what time do you go to bed in the week the same questions you can write all the questions okay and ask your friend about all the questions in number one here what time do you get up what time do you go to bed what time do you leave home what time do you get home? What time do you have breakfast? What time do you have lunch? And the same. But here, live, of course, you say, and work, you say, you can say what time do you start work? But here, for example, where do you work? Where do you live? Here, where and where? Okay, guys, so that was uh, everything about our lesson today here. We studied vocabulary, daily routines, grammar, present symbol, number one, positive and WH questions, I, you, we, and they. So that's it for today. Thank you, everyone, and goodbye.